Following these recent earthquakes in Japan and Ecuador, some are wondering why, with all our advances in technology, we're not able to predict earthquakes. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi went to the home of the U.S. National Earthquake Information Center to try to get some answers. Here we're looking at uh, the location, the initial location of the magnitude 7.8. The National Earthquake Information Center in Golden, Colorado is the world's expert at measuring an earthquake's intensity and location. You can see most of the shaking was south um, of the epicenter. But they're in the same boat as everyone else when it comes to knowing exactly when quakes like the one in Ecuador will happen. We would love to be able to predict when an earthquake could occur, the exact timing of an earthquake, but that really is impossible. Unlike thunderstorms, which can be measured by the buildup of clouds, seismologists can't peer 10 to 15 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface to determine when, like this ruler, a fault or crack in the Earth's crust will snap. We can see how fast the strain is building up, the stresses are building up on the fault, but unless we know the strength of the fault, we won't know when it will snap. The red here is... Ed Nissen at the Colorado School of Mines says some countries, particularly Japan, have benefited from early warning systems that rely on sensors to alert towns that an earthquake has begun. That's good, he says. However, actually, what matters more is whether the building is going to collapse. Long-term forecast models and seismic hazard maps help city planners, engineers, and politicians gauge the earthquake risk in their communities. They need to know what's the likelihood of, of, of shaking of a given strength in this area. So how strong should we build the, the building? Meantime, scientists continue to study the physics of earthquakes, the so-called earthquake cycle. How these plates move past each other how do you accumulate strain um, in the crust, on the interface, and where along the subduction zone are we likely to have really large earthquakes? We're still trying to understand that. But as for predictions? Personally, I'm skeptical. We're nowhere near being able to do that. A sober reminder that all the technology in the world is still no match for the power of natural forces. Hendrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Golden, Colorado.